So I'll play Mr. CR, who's the highest rated, no, the highest on the list with the flag I can see. Another 2500 guy, I've been crushed by the last one I played. Plays E4, and I'll stick to my E5 guns. Good old Spanish, let's see if we get another marshal in. In case you've missed my earlier desperate plugging, I do have a new series out on the Marshall attack, but he plays the move which has been my kryptonite for quite a bit. The move 5d3 when... I, we have an... no, the move 6d3. We have an excellent series by Mr. Peter Svidler. I can never quite decide what I want to do against this line. This is what I've mainly been doing, b5 and then d6. I've also been playing d6 immediately, then c3. <coughs> oh, sorry d6 immediately and then castles first, not coming to b5. c3 is a bit of a sideline here. The more critical tries are supposed to be the moves a4 and a3 or knight c3. No, a3 followed by knight c3. But of course this is fully playable transposing to some very typical Spanish lines where I will play with knight a5, c5. d4 immediately, can you do that? <clears throat> I haven't seen it in this position. <clears throat> Not sure. <clears throat> Many options. I could just keep the tensions with a, tension with a move like queen to c7, or I could take here twice, which is what I would like to do. Not sure it's a good idea, but it's more in my style. Then go rook e8, bishop to b7. <clears throat> Not sure. This move d4 in this position, really. Not familiar to me. I'll, I'm going to have to check it out. Might all still be theory. <clears throat> Pretty standard Spanish structure where this pawn on d6 is weak, but black hopes that with his active pieces and some pressure on the e4 pawn, it can be compensated. Depends, as usual, on all kinds of small details, if this is good or bad or ugly. Played b4, when it feels principal to me to play knight c4. If I went knight c6, why well, would just take and go bishop b2? Doesn't look so tempting, so I'll try to undermine the e4 pawn in the meantime. Let's see what happens. It was one tempo short of going rook c8, which would have been nice. But what are you going to do? Get to work with the position on the board, which looks quite unclear to me. After knight c4, b c4, he might have to go f3, but that's not a move you want to play. Plays bishop g5, which is a move you want to play. I have to decide if I'm brave enough to go h6, bishop h4, g5, grabbing the pawn or not. I think I'm probably brave enough out of necessity. And yeah, he decides he doesn't want to give the pawn after bishop h4, g5. Instead takes on f6, which now should be fine for me. Let's see. I want to play d5. Can I play d5? Yeah, I'll go d5, attacking b4 and e4. e takes d5, looks normal, but then bishop takes b4, and it looks to me like black is doing all right. <clears throat> Not quite sure I'm missing something here, but no, I think I'm doing fine. <clears throat> Kachopan is saying, Kachopan. Deep Wall is saying, I joked. <clears throat> I'm not quite sure why Kachapan is saying Kachapan. Meantime, bishop a4 has been played. This looks strange. I like my chances here. I'm smelling blood. I'll probably screw it up quickly. But for now it looks strange. Rook e4, rook e4, d e, rook c4. I can pin him with rook d8, which looks quite unpleasant to meet, actually. At least to me. <clears> hmm. <throat> And yeah, he doesn't want to allow that. I've been playing slowly, I'm realizing. I should speed up a little bit. Let's do that. Rook d8 can't be too bad either way. Probably queen c2, bishop to... Oh, I missed queen e1. That's what happens when you speed up. You start missing stuff. Still like the position, obviously. <clears throat> I go queen b2. Looks like a good move. Attacking b4 and a2. And I gotta speed up. I've been so chatty and happy, giggly about my position. I forgot about the clock a little bit. So I'll turn quiet and focus. Sorry guys. <clears throat> Gotta win a game at some point. Hmm. Rook c4, queen a2 seems to work. What else can he do? 
rook c2, I'll take here and just play quickly. Missed that move, of course. <clears throat> Somehow he managed to survive. How did that happen? Oh, man. Sorry, I'm not my usual chatty self, but I'm really running a bit low on time here. However, he's running a bit low on queens, which is also good. And yeah, I managed, I managed to screw up there in between. I was very happy with myself, but then blew it. But in the time trouble, I did manage to play more quickly. Sorry, I turned so quiet there. Good game, Mr. CR. Until recently, chess was like this. Chess 24 brought you this. Live interactive broadcasts from top tournaments with computer analysis and video commentary by the likes of Jan Gustafsson, Lawrence Trent and Peter Fiddler. A play zone where you can take on opponents from all around the world 24-7. Interactive beginners courses ensuring you pick up the basics fast while having fun. A tactics trainer to sharpen your chess by solving puzzles adapted to your level. Hundreds of interactive videos, letting you watch and learn from star players such as Vichy Anand, Peter Svidler, Paco Vajejo and Hu Yufan. You've given up on that outdated computer? That's why there are more reasons to use Chess24 on mobiles and tablets. Full play zone access, including pre-move. A tactics trainer so you can stay sharp wherever you are. Computer opponents you can challenge even when you're not online live broadcasts of top chess events and the half it's free well that's half true most features are free but limited for registered members for a mere 99 euros per year however you can step up to premium membership and gain unlimited access to our video library that and much more see you at chess24.com